as I was saying, but the depthitude of my understanding is where the fulfillment is, you know? Because now it's common sense. It's it's getting to a point in time where it's common sense, you know, it's intuitive. I can I can see the real life application of it, you know, in terms of day-to-day -day language and like, yeah, just getting into logic. You see? Some things I do miss, but I'm just like, you know, this is this yes, now I can feel it. Now I'm not crawling anymore. I'm starting I'm starting to step in terms of my understanding and my intimacy. You know, and this is great. This is great. So I was like, yeah, this is the importance, the importance of being patient with self, you know, developing a sense of consistency. And yeah, just being about it. And like, I noticed like more and more, I'm like, I was in the gym and I was like, you know what? In between these two minute rests, I think I could just like skim, you know, just skim um this, uh, this head first JavaScript book programming. Head first JavaScript programming book, you know? Yeah. Because at the end of the day, what else? So, yeah, I did that. I had cool fish my nephew, you know what I'm saying? I had cool we back here, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, took a nap. I had cool whatever. Um, yeah. Uh, what else? Yeah, I went through destructuring again. Just to just to make sure that hey, whatever I learn in terms of functional programming, I can also just understand. I can just yeah, just keep on revising the other stuff. I was supposed to listen to the lecture, right? But then I was like, oh, I deleted it on my phone. I deleted YouTube on my phone. I deleted the, all the lectures on my phone. I should have had it on my iPad, but I didn't download it, and I don't know where my data is. So. <laughs> let me just, I already have videos here on YouTube and let me just go through these videos, did like two, then after that, it's like, yo, family guy time, you gotta cook and stuff, but, mm -hmm. oh yeah, and I also practice, you know what I'm saying, wrote a little if else statement about my life and then I was like, yes, you see this right here, this is how it starts, it was just one, two, three exercises today. But, like, as time goes on, just apply more and more and more and more and more and more. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, like, that's it for today, honestly. Um, tomorrow is just, yeah, it's just a matter of just continuing, hey? Just really continuing and enjoying this journey. Mm-hmm. Um, um, I hope by the time we get to, yeah, I just hope, like, yeah, I just hope by the end of the week I can finally get to functional programming and also algorithms, you know, in free code camp. I have my understanding at that point. But besides for that, I'm not going to rush it. It's just a matter of constantly practicing and making sure that I I maintain a great relationship with myself. And I also just, you know, get this to an intuitive level. Mm -hmm. At least I know that I'm not going to fall off when it comes to this, definitely. I'm seeing it to the end. I have that feeling, you know? I have that feeling where it's like, it's automatic. It's like gym, you know? It's automatic, no question about it. But now it's a matter of having it intuitively. The way I'm lifting 140, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to lift this JavaScript. So with that being said, thank you for paying attention. That's my journey. It's been good. It's been great. And let's see how great I fare tomorrow.